Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Percy, and sorry I haven't been doing anything for the past couple weeks. Um, I've been crazy with finals and everything, and finally all that's done. So now I'm back, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw an evil minion from Despicable Me 2. If you haven't seen it yet, it's where the yellow minions turn into this rabid purple monster beast. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty funny. So, what we're going to do first, a lot like the first minion that I taught you guys, we're going to go up like this. We're going to make a funny looking jelly bean figure. Okay. Here's our jelly bean figure. Now, from our jelly bean figure, um, let's go ahead and we're going to jump like to right here in the middle of the bottom of him. And we're going to make like a weird looking rainbow out towards the edge, overlapping that side and then coming in and connecting it back down. Okay, now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and map out his eye. Can I say let's go ahead five more times? All right. So let's make his eye kind of close to right here since his body is kind of turned towards a little to my left. Here guys is right, I don't know. No, that's wrong. <laughs> So we're going to make a circle right here and then in that circle we're going to make another circle inside and make them kind of spaced out just a little bit. Okay, now from this circle and this, this whole circle, these two compiled circles, we're going to draw one line here, overlap just a little here and then one line here and we're going to bring it down. So we just made his goggle. straps a little so they look like they're matching okay now from these little goggle spots let's see if we can see yes you can all right now let's go ahead and jump inside his eye and we're gonna make like a little itty bitty rainbow inside he's kind of just relaxed and cool and not going crazy and going Ugh! whatever he does now from in here we obviously just made his eyelid let's go ahead and give him his little itty bitty pupil all right now, what I'm going to teach you to do now is I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to erase from in here. Obviously, we have some kind of like weird looking caveman ape lit thing going on. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump down into his overalls. His overalls are pretty easy. We're going to, um, we're going to connect right here and we're just going to swoop down over here. Okay. Now that we have that, let's go ahead. I'm gonna even out his bum a little bit more. <laughs> Should do the rest of this video in English with an English accent. That'd be wonderful. All right. Now that we we have his bottom, I want to go ahead and do his shoes. So what we're gonna do for his shoes? Yes, you can see. Um, we're just gonna do a little rock-looking figure like this, just like a little rainbow on top. Turn it this way. And just do another little weird looking thing but it's going to be out a little bit more so this one will look more like a foot okay and put it up i don't think these things really have legs when they're all evil i'm going to make this a little bit more smaller okay like that all right now that we have that um we have his overalls like laid out basically um i'm going to come over here and I'm going to snap this up down here and then I'm going to bring his overall right here and we're going to bring it up. Okay, now from right here we just obviously made his shoulder where his shoulder will go. His arms are literally dragging on the ground so we'll make one line here, one line here, bring this down and we'll just map out where his his hand's gonna go. And then over here, since we have it off to the side a little bit, it's just gonna drape down so we have a line right here. Make sure it's even with his feet on the ground since there, his, all his limbs are touching the ground. And we'll map out his arm right there, see what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit skinnier of an arm. So he looks like a monkey dragging, an orangutan dragging his, his 
arms around like I don't care what's going on in the world right now. <laughs> and so uh, now let's finish his overalls where I'm going to make his little buckle. Okay. And then I'm going to give his buckle right here and I'm going to draw a line up to give that look of overalls. Alright, go ahead and erase guidelines inside the middle area of his overalls and we're going to make a little patch right in the middle, a little box, and then a little circle. I wasn't sure what the evil guy's name was in Despicable Me Too, so I don't know his logo that well, but I just went ahead and give him a circle. If you guys, if you want to find out what the evil guy's name is in Despicable Me Too, and you figure out his logo that he gives the evil minions, and go ahead and add that right in the middle of the circle. But I just talked a lot. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's go over here, and we're going to give a buckle over here, and let's just come down from right here, bring it here, and then put that right there. And I'm going to make a little buckle-like structure there. I'm going to connect this and make sure it looks all nice and even. Seriously, these guys do look like evil monkeys. Uh, I'm going to make them a little bit more skinnier here. Alright, now that we have his bottoms, his shoes, and everything, and his overalls going on, everything's snappy, um, let's jump over to his hands, and his hands are turned over like this. So, like he's dragging them across the floor. So, we have a finger here, and he's only got three fingers. Finger here. So, they literally look like rocks. And a finger here. And then we're going to draw the end of his glove right there. And we've got finger rocks. Little finger rocks, I don't know. See, it's it looks like your hand is being dragged like if you're looking at it from up this side. I don't know. But all right, let's jump over here and we're going to do his arm his his arm, <laughs> his hand over here. And here's the turn of his hand. Going to go up. Over. is like his hand and we'll put a finger here because he's only got three fingers okay give his little top of his glove and that's just in a little rectangle spike structure okay now that we have those let's go ahead now yep we got his whole bottom ha half of his body which is pretty easy now from up here at his goggles, he does have like a mid strip going down the side, so just pick a middle place of your goggles. And then we're gonna give a little indention on the side, just give it two little humps to look like an elastic band. And do the same over here. Alright, let's spruce him up a little bit because he's so exciting. So excited to be here. So excited. Okay, now that we have his whole body, let's go ahead and give him his famous feature. Not his famous, his second famous is his teeth. Now his teeth are literally all kinds of different direction. And they're like, they're just pointed little, but they're big fat pointed. So see it like how I did this one? It's like a very curved triangles. Very, very curved. See how I'm just doing it? You can even add like a little one right here. You can put as many teeth as you want on them because they're rabid fools. So I'm going to put one right there and I'll put a little one right here. <laughs> Definitely caveman kind of material. Now that we have the teeth, the most famous thing about this, this the new Despicable Me characters as when they're evil is their hair. There is no uniform way to do this at all. What you're going to do, what I'm going to tell you to do it's just to pick out how tall you want it to be. Let's say we're going to go this tall and we're going to go this wide. Okay. And all you're going to do is from here to there, you're just going to draw up. And this hair doesn't have to look pretty. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of his line in the middle right now so I don't have to go back later. There we go. 
everywhere. Hair will be everywhere. Just keep going more and more. Now that you have his hair, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shape up his head a little bit more because he does have a skinny face and his jawline is just over, just way over. Yeah, if it needs help, I don't know. Okay, but there you go, an evil minion. But I will go ahead and tell you there are some loose hairs down here. So give him some hairs on his chin. Cause, like I said, he's got he's probably got some bad hormonal problems and he's growing it all over the place. There go. This is what happens when you eat too many carrots. I don't know. <laughs> But there you go guys, That's there's the there's the evil minion for you. Um, if you haven't seen my original piece on Instagram, here's my original. I went ahead and colored him in and everything. And as you can see, his hair is everywhere. He's everywhere. He's obviously not enthused to be there. But they look a lot of the same. This looks like, this looks like it would be a concept sketch. And then this is like, this is what it came out to be. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, guys, once again, I'm sorry for being so late. It's hard being uh, grown up, I guess. I'm trying not to grown up. Peter Pan, why aren't you helping me out here? But <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. I do want to come back and I want to teach you one of the biggest Christmas craft projects that is helping me out this year. And then I'm giving away to all my friends and family and everything. I'm going to teach you how to do a button tree. And if you don't know what a button tree is, then make sure you go and check out my Instagram and you can see all the variety of button trees that I have. It's going to be nice. You can see my face. Oh, probably. I don't know. Not promising. But I'm going to teach you how to do this painting. And I really hope it's going to help you guys with the Christmas season. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Bye!